Hey 360 electricians, welcome back. In this video, I wanted to give you a little tutorial of our brand new and actually our very first wide format blueprint printer, the Epson SC2170, T2170. It's a 24 inch wireless printer. It prints blueprints. Uh, it is a roll printer, so the paper is on a 24 inch by 150 foot roll. And uh, we've never needed a blueprint before this one, uh, but it's a long time coming. Been around business for 15 years and we've always sent our prints to the print shop. And when you print about 20 to 30 of these prints a month, it adds up. So we were spending about almost $100 a month on printing. This printer takes the T40 Epson ink cartridges. I highly recommend you stick with original ink cartridges on a printer like this. We picked it up on Amazon for about $750. Uh, and we did get the extended warranty uh, for it because it is a bubble jet printer, because it is expensive. We figured if we have any problems, we can send it back. So let's take a look at this printer. Let me show you what kind of paper it uses. Uh, again, it uses the 24 inch by 150 foot spools. Uh, we got the 20 pound bond paper with 96 brightness. The printer does print uh, in color and it actually prints really, really nice in color. So remember to get the paper with a three inch core. That is super important. It does require that if you're gonna put it in correctly. Uh, when you get the printer, this is how you change the paper. Now we've already used it enough in the last month that we are doing a paper change here. So uh, pretty easy to do, uh, take a look and uh, I'll get back to you in just a second when I'm done changing the paper. Uh, actually, I do want to make a correction. I said three inch core, this paper is two inch core. So you need to pick up the two inch core paper. So once you get the paper unraveled, you're gonna to wanna to put it onto that uh, shaft. And uh, one thing to note uh, is pay attention to the screen because once you get this paper in, uh, you're gonna feed it through the feeder and the feeder, if you did it correctly, is gonna kind of suck up the paper just a little bit, uh, almost pre-feed it into the drive. So in this case, when I was doing it, it, I didn't feel that until I went back to the screen and I realized it said, paper's out, you wanna change it. As soon as you hit yes and you do this, and as soon as you stick it in just like this, it's gonna grab it and it's gonna turn it a little bit and then it's gonna start adjusting the paper to make sure it's put in correctly. Printing is super easy with the 2100. Just open the file where you have your blueprints and uh, in Acrobat, hit the print button. Once you hit the print button, you are gonna choose the 2100 printer, of course, and then you're gonna click properties. Under properties, you wanna make sure on the settings that you're printing on 24 by 36 paper, that's US architectural in portrait mode. Click okay, then check some of the other settings. If you wanna print in high quality, you can and hit okay. Make sure you print in grayscale, basic what black and white. Otherwise, if you leave that unchecked, you're gonna be in color. Go ahead and hit the print button. And then Epson does a really good job of opening up a preview window. And in the preview window, you're gonna see on the left side all the pages that are gonna print. You'll see a little uh, layout of the uh, portrait mode. And that is correct. Sorry, I think it's landscape mode. Let me double check that. And then go ahead and hit the print button. Once you hit the print button, it's gonna start printing. So this printer has been a game changer for us, allowing you to print blueprints in-house versus sending a file, did I send the right file, getting the file over to the printer, then sending somebody over or driving yourself to go pick up the file. And then you realize the next day, there's a version change and now you gotta go back and print up a couple of new ones. 
it's just too time consuming. For us, uh, a majority of our work now is commercial. So a blueprint printer is definitely, definitely needed. Now, one thing I will tell you, when you initially buy this printer and you put the ink cartridge in for the first time, charging the printer is gonna suck up 50% of your ink. So make sure again that you pick up some extra T40 Epson inks. One other thing to note is you'll notice right now as the first print comes out, 43 seconds per print, if you do not have a paper catch and the second print is about to print, it's gonna drop the first one. Once it drops the first one, it's gonna hit the floor and it's a little inconvenient to pick up 10 pages off of the floor. Other than that, I have no complaints. This is a great printer. I highly, highly recommend it. It's only about 10 seconds slower than the 3100 series. So don't hesitate, buy this. I'll put a link at the bottom so that you can click on the exact same one. Don't forget to buy the extra paper with the two inch core and the extra ink cartridges. Hey, I wanna thank you for watching. I hope this has helped. If you were thinking about getting into a wide format blueprint printer, it's a good way to advance your business getting into commercial. This will save you a lot of time and money. Hit that like button and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.